Okay, this is the second example for uh, the scissor cipher, and the example is as follows. Alice wants to send the message Fox to Bob. So what we want to do is exactly the same we did with the example number two. I'm going to go a little bit faster here in this example uh, because I ho I'm hoping that you already got more or less the mechanics of what all these examples will be like. So the first thing we want to do is apply the role of Alice and Alice has to uh, take the plain text. So this is all from the Alice side. So it's going to take the plain text, plain text. And in this case, the plain text is Fox. And she has to transform that into the cipher text. So she can send that to uh, Bob. And remember that the cipher text, the way you produce that is by encrypting the message Fox using a cipher, which in this case uh, is shifting the letters three positions to the right because that's the uh, cipher that Alice and Bob agree on. So let's start with the process. So we're gonna have the letter F, O, and X, and we're gonna transform each letter into another letter using the cipher, the Caesar cipher. Okay, so let's start with the letter F here. So let me go back here to the uh, alphabet. I'm gonna choose a color here, let's say yellow. So I'm gonna start here in F, as you can see there, I'm going to move to the right three units, so it's going to be G, H, and I. So F will be transformed into the letter I. I'm going to choose the color white again, and I'm going to say F goes into I. So F is transformed into the letter I. Do the same for O. So I'm going to go back to my alphabet, and I'm going to choose another color, let's say purple. Um, O, and I'm going to move it three units to the right, so it's going to be P, Q, R, in this case O will be transformed into R. I'm going to choose the white color again, and go down, O goes into R, so O goes into R. Same thing with X, and the reason I wanted to talk about this example is because uh, there's a little bit of a variation with this example, and as you can notice, uh, we have the letter X here, this is letter X, I have to shift the three units to the right, but when I start doing this process, I say one, two, and you see I don't have any more letters. When that happens, in any case that you run out of the letters, you end at Z, then you're going to start all over again. So I start from the beginning, from the letter A. So what do I mean by that? So shifting to the right, it will mean that I start in Z and Y. Z and I start at A again. So shifting the letter X three units to the right means that the letter X will be transformed into the letter A. So X, this whole X goes there and because I'm rolling this over here, it's gonna be transformed into the letter A. So X will be transformed into A. So I'm gonna choose the uh, Y color there. X will be transformed into A. So now we've got the cipher text. So the cipher text in this case is I R A. Now the importance of this example is not that I'm doing the same thing all over again. The importance of this example, so if I scroll up here, is the situation with the letter X. And the situation here, remember, it was I started here in X, and because I don't have another position to go to the right, I simply start all over again from the letter A. If, for example, you have a scissor cipher that moves 13 positions to the right, and you go over the letter Z, you simply start at A again. Okay, so in this case, it was three positions to the right, so that's one at Y, two at Z, and the third position would be at A again. All right, so so we have the cipher text now. Cipher text, of course, is this uh, message that is going to be transmitted to uh, Bob. So let me write down the situation again. So we have Alice here, 
and Bob is far away from Alice. They communicate through an insecure channel and this era is the message, the message that is going to be sent to Bob. So that message goes to Bob. Let's choose yellow again. So it goes to Bob. And he gets the message uh, era. I R A. So I R A. Of course, Eve, remember, Eve is always listening to that channel. Eve also gets that message because she's always listening. So uh, she also gets the message here. She also gets that message. I R A. So that's what's going to happen here. Now, Bob again uh, doing the similar thing we did with the other example. He has to take that message and transform that into the plain text, which is the actual message. Now, I'm not going to do that again because it's exactly the same as before. So you go back three units to the left because Bob is decrypting the message. So he has to take this and decrypt. to the plain text. Now you know what the plain text will be. The plain text is going to be Fox, F-O-X. And I'm not going to do that again because it's exactly the same process. The only reason uh, I wanted to go over this example is because of that X that went over uh, the letter. So you start all over again. So if you run out of the letter, then you just simply start again from the beginning. In the next uh, example, or the next concept, I'm going to emphasize that. And what we're going to see is that it is better not to put the alphabet in this straight line that we have it right here. So this is just a straight line. It's better to organize the alphabet in a circular manner. So when you go to the right or to the left, then it will make more sense in that case. So we'll see that in the next video.